folks, Rinian T here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Word. And in the last part, we did the 3.1 story. <laughs> I had to make sure I remember which patch we were on. And now, as a kitty slowly approaches me, <laughs> um, first I'm going to do a ser far less serious quest that I kind of didn't do back in Realm Reborn stuff, but we're doing it now. We're doing it now. There's a purpose, but we're doing it now. So, is it true that you triumphed over the siren? Words can I express my gratitude. My only gratitude is that my dear brother could not be here today to hear that our father's death has been avenged. He set sail with his crew three years past, you see, and has yet to return to shore. And I hold out hope that his ship shall come sailing into harbor any day now. And on that day, I shall be the first to share with him the news of your triumph. In the meanwhile, however, we can finally press on with the restoration of Faro Sirius. I must get to work at once. I would be much in your debt if you could inform Master Mimidoa that the coast is clear for us to begin. Why I put this off? I don't know. I thought my related to Evans were stuff. I was like, eh, I should maybe wait. Ah, well, I waited. But we're doing it. We're doing it. Done it! I sent the bloody siren screeching, screech, screeching and shrieking to the market. That's what she came. You've done us all a great service today, lass. If you wouldn't mind, regale old Mimi Doa's ears with the tale of the foul witch's last song. Was that you had to fend off a ghost like who when the sea saw and does and maelstrom men? Just as I feared, the poor lass, my heart goes out to her. So it's three years to the day, give or take a in. A crew of the Maelstrom's finest set sail on a routine patrol. But ain't nothing routine in these parts, and they'd not return to shore. Rumors spread the quick lack that it was a siren song that led the vessel to a watery grave. Maelstrom Command jumped to quite the talk. The old titans were already too easy to come by in those days after the calamity. But those of us in the know, we knew. Like father, like son, last promise is so sad, you'll spare poor Diamanda the truth. Last has already suffered more in her share. Diamanda? <laughs> this can't be. My brother is still alive at sea. The search ever continues. Master Mimi, tell it. You yourself have told me the same. Forgive me, Missy. I've never meant to deceive. Maelstrom made me swear a vow. You see it? I keep the truth buried deep. And... Oh, bugger me. Foul and bugger me. Truth is, this scurvy coward just couldn't summon a nerve to tell you the truth. Diamanda, can you ever forgive a sorry old sod? There's no need for forgiveness, Master Mimidoa, for the truth coward, or the true coward, is me. In my heart, I've always known. This adventurer's deeds and your words have finally given me the courage to face the truth. I'm a woman grown. The time for clean the child childish dreams has passed. I must look to the future. My spinning skills are still wanting, but I shall not falter from the task. Frost Sirius will burn bright once more, a beacon of hope in the darkest of nights. The fell songs of the sea acclaim their last victim. I shall see to it with my own two hands. Strong words, last. I trust you'll not forget when your paws are all blebby and blistery. <laughs> my hands? Well, I'll clench my hammer with my teeth, if need be. Father, brother, do you hear me? Your death will not be in, in vain. Things are getting serious. Are you a perfect time and as always? We're in need of your time to deal with some trouble brewing over on the Isles of Umbra. Seems a pack of kobolds have made a crap for Faro Sirius. The smith's work and then the restoration barely made it out alive. 
Oh my. Maelstrom commands drawn the plans to take back the tower with Master Mimi Do advised on now things stand on the ground. But when they asked him for his opinion, he kept going on about some adventurer from long past that helped him drive off a siren from the same spot. Now no disrespect to the old fellow, but we haven't got we don't have the firmest grasp on what happened when, so we couldn't help wondering if maybe his hero or your was none other than your fond self. You being a siren slayer and all. So what do you say? Will the lend us and when will to lend us and re will the lend us in hand relighten the beak <laughs> I've been reading read that like five times to figure out what he was saying. I know I could count on ya. Whenever Storm Flies is making the final preparations of the airship landing now. Tell her traitor sent ya and she'll give you the particulars. Alright, we need to head for the airship landing. Let's go. Actually, yes, I can hear this one there. Wait. Uh, there you are. Arya, we are honored to have you with us. The situation is developing even as we speak, but I will do my best to explain what we know. Karin, the master Mimi Doa, he and his fellow smiths barely escaped with their lives when the kobolds began scattering bombs around the lighthouse's foundation. He believes the beastmen intend to blow Faro's series to pieces, thus disrupting our most vital supply route to and from Western Lanosia. Needless to say, they cannot be permitted to succeed. We must act swiftly before Rex begins to pile up around Aleport. That's where you come in. The kobolds have sealed off the ground entrance, so we propose to take you to the top of the tower by airship. Once there, you will proceed inside and see the to the bombs, along with any kobolds you encounter, the maelstrom will then bring up the rear and secure the area. Before we proceed, I must trust the need for caution. Master Mimido suspects that if the kobolds are bent upon destroying Faro Sirius, they'll have more than a handful of flaming voids in at their disposal. One inopportune explosion could set the restoration back by moons, if not years. You know as well as I do how volatile bombs can be. If we are to save the beacon, we had best leave soon. Borrow Sirius Hard is now accessible. So yeah, I had to go do that other quest to unlock this one. <sighs> so let's do it. Uh, that is the wrong tab. Uh, we'll see if it's actually less than five minutes. Okay, it was less than five minutes. It's like two. Was it two? Yeah, I guess it was about two, wasn't it? I am already almost positive I'm gonna need the macro for this one. Pretty much for all the level 60 dungeons, really. There's... There's a level 80 reason why I need the macro for the level 60 dungeons. So welcome back to Faro's Sirius. It's been a while since we've had a hard mode dungeon. Still pretty overcome with Aether here. Someone typed it out for me. <laughs> and by someone, I mean Flankity Dead. Thank you, Flan. Um, Alright. I didn't forget some things. So, yeah, we're still going to be having a lot of corruption going on around here. And I should probably actually turn down my sound so I don't feel like I'm screaming. Um, so, a lot of corrupted plans, slimes. That's because we are still, like, in the top of the tower. We aren't, like, actually where the kobolds are because, of course, we did come in from the top because airship. Uh, I should probably switch tabs. 
has maybe maybe I don't know. No, my how much my fault is gone. This one's snakes. I thought I had been doing so good, and then it was gone. Crystals are shattering to clear our passage. Since that's why we can't actually do uh, big holes for a little bit there. But still, just basic, basic holes for the time being. Um, I'm still getting that name on, didn't I? I'm still getting that name on now because I was there. Alright. This is going to be a new path, however. Oh, up, oh, up. Oh. There used to be a chest there. They appear to have taken gotten rid of it. So our first thing we are going to run into is a Graha Gra Luminary. Graha. I honestly these enemies were MF eleven and I never fully figured out how to pronounce her name, so So um for Blue Mage this is actually a uh, worthwhile um fight because it gives you one of your best spells for blue. Oh, I am being targeted. That particular one I just happened to get hit with. Ethereal etherical Yeah. Yeah. Mimicry. That one. What it does is it copies the attributes of the job that uh you target. So for a blue mage, you either get a DPS healer or tank buff. So because it targeted me that thing became a DPSer. And so we've got one becoming a um, healer and one becoming a um, bird. Which I just made them become birds. Um, because yeah, I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> you can also do that. But yeah. I was totally for showing it wasn't me forgetting and being too busy explaining Blue Mage Ethereum. Ethereal Mimicry. <laughs> nope. <clears throat> yep, yep. Alright, so now we're actually where the kobolds are with the bomb. Hello. And... So by bombs, they literally mean there's bombs trying to blow up in our face. Because up here... We're going to find a thing in the spawning bomb, I thought. Yeah, there's a thing in the spawning bomb. We just aren't quite there yet. Yeah, you can see these time bombs are coming up at us to go boom. Ugh, this thing's about on the wall. But hit. I think. I guess these ones do travel a little while, don't they? So, yeah, these are bombs you can just ignore. You don't have to actually hit them. Fortunately, because that, uh, the Machinist there decided to do the thing, do the thing, um, Lumen debuff, they cannot run out in combat because the tank was in combat from a bomb. Because they hit the bomb with it, and yeah. So yeah, because we destroyed the bomb incubator, the time bombs will no longer be spawning on us for a little bit until we get to the next section where there's going to be a bomb incubator. Oh, it's the only one who's like, I don't know which way is it. Okay, here we are. So just, again, nothing much to really say on these particular ones. We're just trying to get to the second spire. Just basic kobolds. Alright, so that drops a key, which we are going to use to crack open this particular door. It's going to lead us to boss number two, the second spire! We've got 8th Order, Bigu, 
Barbie track Bigo. Sorry, I forgot Barbie name. Strip mine is gonna be a proximity AoE. He's gonna jump down and cause valve, ethereal valve to rupture. Oh god, my eyes freaking itchy as heck. Ah! I've got more gels. To be honest, I barely remember this. Like, in all my time doing Mentor Roulette, it seriously, like, there was probably a, there was a really, really long period of time. I'm stunned. Alright, so yeah, that's gonna seal up that. Oh my gosh! Oh, because he has Shock Encounter, which is from that. Okay. Oops. Yeah, you have a screw loose. So yeah, you want to use the gels to um, seal up the valves and yada yada yada. Leave that to the range. And yeah. So I'm just saying, I, I honestly had a really, really long period of time where I just did not get this dungeon. I... I barely remember. I almost never see it in roulettes or anything like that. So it's like, uh, I don't remember Borrow Serious Heart. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's just like this, a bunch of the Heavens War dungeons. I just don't remember. I never see them. Just, uh, I don't know. What is it about Heavens War content? It's just, I don't ever see it. And I forgot to meditate. Crud. I'm getting too busy complaining about not seeing content <laughs> to my job. Uh, meditate is just so frustrating at 60. I, I have been over this, but oh my gosh. I It gets so much better once I'm past it. We've seen it when I've been on overworld content. It's just like, uh, so much better. Living room. Uh, still, nothing really much to note here. Round horn. Of course, there was also that period of time where we're like, yeah, I totally okay because he has less, and then I see updated monk, and I was like, oh yeah, no, it's not. Alright, so now we've just got a big room of bombs, and we are going to want to get rid of them so we don't have time bombs coming at us, or time grenades. Because they are trying to destroy the walls, and that's really what we were warned against, is to make sure that they don't destroy the walls. I just got knocked back by something, didn't I? So yeah, what we need to be doing is just kind of going around this room as we are killing everything in here. And also taking care of these incubators so that the walls are, just are not destroyed. That would be really bad. So is that all the incubators? That is all the incubators. Maybe. Is there still one? What the heck? Okay, now it's blowing up on us. We can accept that. I do want the chest though. Give me a chest. Oh my god. What is the plan? Cutscene! Hopefully they're like, they saw the thing about. By the way, so how do y'all like Epic 4 references? That <laughs> was timing, alright! <laughs> we just like start the pause music again. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Well, I was the only one who was new in here, so that's cool. Reference. This is just a big, giant, weird thing. Yeah, well, you'll see. So, they're gonna use Bond Drop. I think, is this the move I'm thinking of? Mom mad! So, we need to kill Bonds. So, 
let us kill bombs. So we need to do them before do it before they go boom. Them going boom is bad. For our health, really. Blue flame! Maybe I'm thinking of another vibe. I thought this was the FF4 reference vibe. Kind of is, I guess. I think I'm still thinking of another vibe. We'll see. Ah! Stop turning! Take! Yeah, just try to general beat down a big burst, so this is gonna hurt. I'm gonna go ahead and toss that mantra. Deal like almost 5,000 damage. So yeah, they're gonna it's gonna spawn various bombs. We need to get rid of the gray bombs so that they don't go boom on us. Yep. And that's the fight. I believe eventually they it'll like split up into a bunch of different little bombs, and that's where I'm thinking the FF4, the big mom bomb fight. I think I am thinking of this fight, it's just we didn't really see it. As well. And that's where our series was hard. Hey, I got a player commentation? Okay. Sure. Sure. Oh, and we are now on Isle of Umbra. Arya, you've returned. You had us worried for a moment there. We heard an awful rumbling coming from deep underground and feared the worst. Who do you think I am? My men have concluded a preliminary sweep of the lighthouse and dismantled the remains of the bomb incubators. It would seem the beastmen have abandoned the tunnels directly beneath the tower. We have sent scouts in to pursue them, but the passage is stretched farther than expected. They are cobbled. Pardon the interruption. While we were secure in the interior, we found this old seafarer's knife lying on the floor, and one of the last notes it got the sigil of Diamond of Naldik, and Vimeli is carved into the handle. I see. Well, if anyone could tell us who that belongs to, I suppose it would be the smith who crafted it. Yet yeah, I cannot seek her out until the tunnels have been secured. I have another favor to ask, Arya. Would you mind delivering the knife to the Lieutenant Traitor in Aleport on my behalf? He has to meet with the artisans of Naldik and my melee shortly. I think we know who that knife belongs to. I expect he'll be waiting at the docks. Do not concern yourself about the tunnels. We will find out where they lead, however far they go. I'm gonna have the maelstrom. I thank you for the aid. It would clearly be the lighthouse. Four should go with you till sea swallows all. You got it. Alright, I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and take the ferry skipper to get there. So he's mentioned the docks. Yeah, they're new. It says in Aleport. Jeez, Renee. Way too weird. So let's head back over here. Are you? I just heard the good news by Loon Lane's blessed light. You did it! You saved Burrow Serious.
Oh, what's this? I see. Well, I'll be sure to ask her about it. Ah, speak of the devil. Oi, what's name? Rico, how long have I, have I to rot in the tavern before your boss is sending them shiting cobalt bastards packing it? Much more of this, and me and Renan will be as soft as my lily white arse. <coughs> Terrifying prospect, and <laughs> no mistake. Luckily, it ain't one we need to worry about, though, because we've taken ba taken far serious back. And after the wall, I've been our maids here gave them. <laughs> them kobolds know to keep their grubby paws to themselves in the future, and you can get back to restore the place in peace. Amanda, while the lads were searching the lighthouse, they found something that might interest you. Does the seer seafarer's widow look familiar? All too familiar, though it didn't look so worn down when I last saw it. I made this for Simon before he set sail three years ago. It was my first piece as a full-fledged smith. Simon? As in Captain Simon of Maelstrom Command? The same. I never meant for it to be a farewell present, but knowing he used it often and kept it with him at, to the last, well, it means a lot. Master Mimidoa, I think it's a sign. Why else would my first piece be returned to me but to show me how far I've come? Just seeing it makes me want to restore the lighthouse to its former glory even more and make it into a place to honor the lost rather than a place to grieve for them. Aye, alas, that's the way. There's things we all of us would sooner forget, but remember them, remember them is what makes us stronger. When you agree, Initiate. Mm, speaking of remembering, you remind me of someone. Something about the eyes. Oh, I! You're a spitting image of a lass has once helped me draw back an army of, of the undead. Right tough bugger she was. Like you. Only taller. <coughs> Excuse me. I did find out what happened to her, but looking at you, I'm guessing she settled down and squeezed out a few guns. <coughs> ah, brings a tear to me eyes. Seeing you carry on the family tradition. Much obliged to you, lass. Much obliged. I can't think you enough for saving the lighthouse. <laughs> if it hadn't been for you, all of our hard work would have been for naught. But I, for one, mean to make the most of the re this reprieve. I swear to you, on my brother's memory, when we finish with Faro Sirius, it will serve as more than the guiding light to safe waters, lead us those, if those lost at sea back to familiar shores. Some folks see Faro Sirius as a cursed reminder of the calamity, while others see it as a monument to Limps' golden age. But I bet it means more to them pair than everyone else in the Nas you put together. And someday they'll show the world how it looks to them, like in a beacon of hope. I realize I still ain't thanked you properly for giving us and giving us a hand with all this. Hardly needs saying that, I suppose, but the maelstrom could have done it with, couldn't have done it without you. You can leave the rest to us, though. We'll see you this so just Don't get disturbed again. Until next time, then, Arya. Next time, Faro Serious Savage. Wait, no. no. That doesn't exist yet. Alright. Next up, I need to go to Hinterland. Oh, sure. All right, hello, Tetchy treasure hunter, treasure hunter, an overgrown ambition. <sighs> what? There's one behind me, is there? No. Thank the gods. 
I don't know, Friday for one day. Ugh. Those goddamn beasts came out of nowhere. It's no wonder we made it out alive. But we can't just leave the treasure there. Hmm. It looks like the sword that's used to risk in life and limb might be as you could help clear a way through these those sea can damn near made a meal of us. We'd see that it was worth your while, of course. If you're interested, let my friend Sonny know. He should be somewhere near the entrance of St. Moshian's Arboretum. Well, I reckon it's safe to go back to Idleshire and look for a few more hands. We'll need as much help as we can. Hope to see you at the Arboretum. Alright, let's go find Sonny at the Arboretum. I've actually been to an Arboretum. I'd like to go to one someday. Be able to, I hope. Go to one uh, Arbor Reading someday. <laughs> You're here to help with the sea can invest in the Arboretum? Thank the gods, we've got the numbers to venture into there ourselves. They used to research plant life from every corner of the realm here, you know. Of course, with no one to look after it, it's all gotten a bit overgrown. Usually, places like this are more trouble than they're worth, but at the parchments we found, there anything to go by. There's something in these rooms that could benefit everyone in Alshire for generations to come. A proper priceless treasure. And it goes without saying that the size all this this is sure to be stuffed with all sorts of precious relics, which you'd be welcome to keep if you help lay a path for us. We'll follow behind you once it's safe and see if we can't find what we're looking for. St. Moshian's Arboretum is now accessible. Um, so let's go ahead. It was technically first on the list, but I like this order better. I was gonna do decent things during the queue, but apparently the queue was instant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so much for my decent thing in the queue. The other time I would do it was when I was waiting for people to be in cutscene, except I said, I'm the one in cutscene. <sighs> Saint Moshion's Arboretum. We're going to just hit the macro now. Go into this of fire. And so yeah, um being that we're in an arboretum, they expect to see a lot of plant life here. Thank you for the stun. Flame actually fit some things here. And I forgot to do the thing, didn't I? Still really bad at that. There's eventually going to be a wall somewhere up here. And... Yeah. Yeah, since we're in our arena, there's going to be a bunch of plant life around. And Marlboros and plant life and Marlboros. before we got to the next poll. So, Carpokers! Again, plant. There's actually a Carpoker mount. Bail via the gold saucer. With MGP. I only just barely recently got it on my main character. Recently, in terms of when I'm recording this, not when in terms of when this will be going up. Alright, so our first boss, Rose Garden. We've got to prune it. A garden. So, to begin with, on Rose Garden, not too much to note. Um, this is actually going to eventually be an annoying fight for 
anyone who's a mage, and honestly kind of annoying for melee, too. Oop, Not being the resin there. So you're gonna see all of this nonsense of AoE going off, and these are persistent, as Rose Garden is going to be turning around. Remember how I said this was gonna be annoying for um, mages? Yeah. At least for black mages. It's a high movement bite. High movement bites are just annoying for black mages. And then it's just gonna be like, eh, I'm exhausted. Kind of slump for a moment. And then we're back at it. And another mechanic was about to happen, but we kind of beat it there. Things that are actually outside, and yeah. yeah. Let's get 
get out of the wood, remember? So it's probably gonna die before it goes off. Also get stunned before it goes off. So we already have a wall. We need to get rid of said wall. Excuse me, I am talking much and need a drink. And we've got a grizzly host. Also known as a really screwed up mutated bear. If I can get the view on this bear. Or it aggroes the machinist. Yeah, you can see the bear has a plant grown, like, fused into its head. Like, what the heck? I guess I could have needed that. I don't need it though. Ah, that was a really funky that or shoulder tackle, but it worked! You got me to where I need to go. Um, yeah. Screw the bears. And, yeah, things are a bit weird, and it's no wonder they, uh, abandoned the Arboretum. Someone actually got a look up there. Treasure. Treasure. Alright, and that, we have made it to the end. Why aren't they triggering the FMV or the cutscene? What the heck? Okay, so Belladonna. <laughs> You thought Rose Garden was a pain in the butt for Maryland. Belladonna is worse. I seem to be having this really big thing about making fights that are nasty for Maryland. So this fight, uh, not your natural area marker of our normal one, but it is a marker in which you do want to be up close. You can, you can see the safe spot up near there, basic AoE with full vacuum. And now it's going to... The bulb begins to rise and squirm from within. Ooh. So you'll see these on the ground, and you'll see their attack markers in the tank are letting me hit the butt! <laughs> the butt, though! Alright, from the Fatal is a look away attack. We are going to be seeing more and more look away. I don't know why I was trying to... Um, I'm like barely getting the butt here. I really wish the tank would turn this, but they are not. So that's that's really your basics of this. Now we're just going to basically have almost the entire arena taken over by those little guys and That is St. Moshean's Arboretum. The victory music was drowned out by victory music. Makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> I gotta play a commendation again. What the heck? I'd say I get more random comp recommendations on this character than my main character, but I get a lot of random ones there, too. <laughs> I don't care about them on this character, either. Haha! <laughs> I knew the thought of the Arboretum's treasures would be enough to get your juices flowing. Thanks to all the pruning you did for us, we were able to have good luck, a good look around the ruins, and it didn't take us long to find what we were after. Oh, I can't wait to tell Midnight Dew the good news. Speaking of which, would you mind coming with us to Idleshire? Midnight Duel will want to thank you personally. And my chair is feeling way too dang low. And I dare say, even an adventurer like you would be interested in our finds. Alright, so. That's idle share. Hello again, Sonny. Ah, you've come at last, adventurer. Well, let's give Midnight Duel the good news.
Oh gosh, I just noticed he has an afro. A very blonde afro. Now that's the end of that one here. Let's hope these seeds live up to the reputation. What friend do you reckon they'll bear adventure? Huh? I did all this for seeds? Something wrong? You seem surprised. Sonny, you did tell our friend here what you were looking for, didn't you? Ah, uh, now you come to think of it, that little detail might have slipped my mind. You see, the treasure we were looking for was for with seeds and sprouts that were cultivated especially by the Australians. Years of research went into breeding them, apparently, and they produced plants like you wouldn't believe. As of now, Eagleshire is made in the streets collecting the junk left behind by the Australians, but it won't last forever. Which is why it's important we find a new way to make ends meet before we end up with nothing left to trade. Acquiring those sprouts and seeds was the first step to accomplishing that goal. If we can find crops that will flourish in this land's changeable climes, we'll have a new industry that will keep Idleshire going for generations to come. Well, these seeds ain't gonna plant themselves, so I best be about it. Something tells me growing them will make getting them seem easy. It'll take a few moons, tis true, but I look forward to seeing those seeds bear fruit. Make sure to visit us from time to time adventure. One day, we'll treat you to a feast grown by our own hands. Oh, I did all that for seeds! Yay! Alright, um... Got a little bit of time here, Lentz. Make a trip to more Dona, if my notes are right here. I hope they are. Alright. It was buried. Thornton's rain. Greetings, Arya. <laughs> Young bard has been gazing forlornly at the door uh, for days, wait, awaiting your return to the seventh heaven. Pray be so kind as to indulge the suffering fool and favor him with one of your epic tales. It seems his inspiration has run dry once more, and only a draft of your most excellent adventuring vintage will slake his creative thirst. So you'll note one thing, unlike this, uh, Ravana and Bismarck quest over here, we already have the check mark. Speaking of which, while I'm here, I may as well turn in Ravana and Bismarck. <laughs> oh. Arya, at last, in meat of agony, have I lingered long to hear the hero herself speak of her epic deeds in Ishgard and beyond. The frozen tundra you braved, and into the vault of the heavens you ascended, to a sacred peak, both temple and tomb, and to a ruined city reborn and resettled, to said all the ancients you ventured, parting the misty veil of millennia. The journey made by you and your companions has made its mark upon the stars. What hear the tale in its entirety? Well, you see, there was this really uh, messed up uh, archbishop guy, and he thought he was the knights of yore, and he summoned all these knights and had this long animation, and yada yada. Your words have worked the miracle upon my melancholy heart. New verses arise unbidden and threaten to spill from my lips. My heart! I must have my heart! The song of war twixt worm and man some thousand years ago began when mortals grasped for godly might the faring name of king and knight. And as this law for woe or weal, did holy will meet righteous seal, and thence was high divinity, compelled by light to bend the knee. What say you? Have I captured the spirit of your triumph? Pray forgive any small liberties I may have taken with the details. One cannot evoke the proper picture of glory without a certain measure of embellishment. Thanks. <coughs> The Minstrel's Ballad, Thornton's Reign, is now accessible. Um, I was gonna say, are you gonna let me into the Rising Stones? What the heck? 
He didn't say a word. The etheric readings left no doubt. The Lord of the Mists is no more. For the time being, at least. After all, such beings have a rather troublesome tendency to return. It's true. Let us turn our attention to the Lord of the Hive, who in quiet mediation, meditation awaits your coming. Except he's already dead too! And thus does the Lord of the Hive's essence return to, upon, unto the land. And thus has the essence of Ravana joined together, joined that the Lord of the Mist and his return unto the land. Yeah, my gratitude, warrior of light. Without your valiant efforts, these primal terrors would have invited the devastation of cataclysmic scale. For unlike others of their ilk, Bismarck and Ravana both harbor the desire and the power to reach as its law. It is with dreadful certainty that I sense their intent to feed on to the strength of the warring triad, and thereby amplify their own power by an order of magnitude. Hmm? What? By what wisdom do I claim such certainty? I am gifted with, how shall I put it, an intimate knowledge of the primal mind. You are curious, I am sure. But you need not understand the nature of a power to use it, do you? It is much the same with the Echo, I imagine. Ah, the realm of Eorzea. Ever has it been a land embraced by gods? For weal or for woe, I should wonder. For the time being, I shall remain here in the Rising Stones and assist Urianje with his research into the icons. If you should acquire aught further of me, simply ask. War still wageth on. All right. Um. Yeah, we have some unlocking to do next time, so I'm going to make my way to Foundation and call it good there. I also need to try and find a Thornton group. Uh. Gosh, Thornton. 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 Yeah, so thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing. If you really enjoyed it, consider supporting the channel. All support greatly helps to keep being content like this and more. You can find the links for that in the description, along with links to me on social media. So thank you again for watching, and until next time, uh, this is Renium T, signing out. Bye!